What's up y'all, Preston here, and today we are going to do something very marvelous to our car. We finally got our carbon exhaust in today. I'm not gonna say it's marvelous, but it does look aesthetically pleasing. And it took literally, literally, almost four months for my carbon exhaust tips to come in. But nonetheless, I got my exhaust tips in. Take a look at it, my before. So before, this is what we look like. We got a gap here. I think it's two and three quarter tips. Feel all that space in there. You can see my fingers literally fit in there. We're gonna fill that in after our exhaust tips I put on, which are doo -doo 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 -doo, right here. Let's get this thing open. Got my knife. First, let's see if we can just grill it. Uh, I got some big staples in, so probably won't be able to. Let's see, here we go. Ah, one. Ah, oh, that gym time is paying off. Ah. All right, so let's get this thing out of here. Oh man, yeah, there goes one of them. Oh, you know I went black. I know y'all didn't think I went chrome or anything, bro. I'm not a chrome type of guy. Let's go black. We want this thing to be sleek and hidden. Yeah, number two. Let me get my gloves on so I can pick it up. All right, so I specifically bought my serial killer gloves to do work on my car and not put fingerprints on my exhaust. Though it's black and it's not chrome, I specifically do not want fingerprints on my stuff. So let's get this mod started and let's get rolling because I've been looking forward to this for four long months. I'm ready to get these bad boys on to see how good this thing is going to look. I am so excited to bring this to y'all. Let's get this mod started. So one thing I got to do is lay on the ground to get that off and to get that one off. So I'm going to crawl up under here and I'm going to take the screws out in the bottom of them and hit it with, let me put this back here. Take the screws out from under the bottom. There's one here and one here and I'm gonna use my rubber mallet and smack it. And I'm gonna get, take this off and put my new ones on. So that being said, all you're gonna need, all you're gonna need to do this is gonna be your power tool, your drill and your impact and your rubber mallet and obviously I got my mechanic pants on today just as I did last time. And now I got my exhaust tip here. Let's take a look at it. So, oh my God. Hello, hello. Look at this thing. Obviously it's carbon. Black, black. I think it's iodized, iodized, whatever it's called. So, oh look at that, we got a, carbon sticker if it would have came fast I put it on I ain't worried about that no so let's get this mod started go get the other one bring the other one over here and yes I do lay on the ground I'm from the country there's nothing wrong with laying on the ground I don't care about getting dirty for the sake of driving my car afterwards I'm actually gonna put something down because I don't want that crap on my seat but let's get this mod going I didn't even need the mallet. My car is brand new, so technically I didn't need the rubber mallet that I bought. And this thing is still pretty clean on the inside. Let's compare them and see the size difference. So, yeah, that's my garage though, y'all keep hearing. So this is the size difference right here. Literally putting them right beside each other. This thing can almost fit inside of it. Actually, it fits inside of it, so the new one it is five and this is two and three quarters and my old one fits inside of my five inch so this is my old one still brand new might even sell it i'm not sure yet but let's go ahead and put our black one on now yeah let me see okay so it goes like this with the carbon facing up So look at the difference. I'm gonna show you how the difference in these two. This is before and after. So before, I just did this one, and this is stock. So that's the difference in them. You're gonna wanna do this. I love this black because it looks really, really, really sleek. All right. That just literally popped out, literally. All right, so let's see if I can wiggle this one loose. This one is not. Holy crap. So that one 
was not loose at all. But still came out. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. As you see, it's got to be perfect. Hold right there on the tip. <laughs> the tip. It says carbon. Right there on the tip. I know, guys, another, another tip joke. Right there on the tip. You see carbon. And let's look at the space on both of them. We want to make sure it line up evenly. Let's do the same on this one. Make sure it line up evenly. And it's perfect. Perfect, perfect. Damn, that almost broke my wrist. Y'all see that? Damn, I was about to be walking around this motherfucker like this. How y'all doing? That shit about to be broke. That's giving it a couple revs right there. And <laughs> I can't keep revving this thing up out here, man. This car is loud. Like, you guys gotta understand, this video is probably not doing it justice on how loud it is. Now, don't get me wrong, you know, F your couch slap, AKA F your neighbors, it is what it is. But thank you guys for watching. This is my install or the carbon video. If you are new to the page, please hit that subscribe button. Join the family. Uh, hit that like button leave me a comment and let me know what you guys think about the install yes i'm a gorilla when it comes to doing my own work on my car so again hit that subscribe button hit that like button let me know what you guys think if you're new to the page thank you for coming thank you for watching the install and if you are a long-term subscriber thank you for coming back to another video without y'all i couldn't do it so let's get this popping let's keep growing send this to somebody share this because somebody needed to see the carbon exhaust on the 2020 scat packs on all the wide bodies for the 2021 um wide bodies as well it's going to be the same exact process the only difference in the 20s and the 21s is literally the uh, i think it's called a tele tele something switch it start with a, a freaking t to move the steering wheel it's just a button literally the difference on the 20 and the 21 wide bodies is now it's a let you can electronically move the steering wheel up and down instead of manually so they added more weight to the vehicle that's literally the only difference not enough for me to go out and try to get rid of my 24 21 because that's not even an upgrade in my opinion but again thank you guys for watching the video your boy is out until next time i'll see you guys later thank you hit that subscribe button we gone